night is so bigger than big for everybody in fashion. I was at the table with Lady Gaga. Puffy was there at my table. Lots of models. <clears throat> and I just felt, I felt frumpy. I was like, rawr. <laughs> no, it was lots of fun. I've yeah. never been. Her first Met Gala in 2015 was clearly memorable for Taraji P. Henson, who wore a fitted Balenciaga. And she's not the only celebrity to fangirl at fashion's biggest night. Count Gabrielle Union in. She wowed and cropped Prada in 2014. Oh, my first Met Ball! This is when I became close with Lupita. We were just like, ah, Beyonce! I was terrified. I was actually taped into this one. And it's framed in my house with the masking tape. I slept in the dress, I remember that. I unzipped it, but I, I like, lay, it was like a cream puff. What do you remember about this night? I remember that dress, and Versace had made me that dress special for this occasion, but I knew nothing about what the Met Gala was. Striking an expert pose in Versace last year, it's hard to believe there was a time when J-Lo wasn't a Met Gala pro. Kate Hudson also remembers the event back in the day. This is when it was really fun. This is when people didn't have, you know, I iPhones and things. It was a much more fun time because not everyone was watching. The gala may have changed, but Kate's chic fashion has not. She wore white Stella McCartney in 2003 and again in 2017. Then there are those whose looks have changed big time. Rihanna has gone from pretty to Pope. Kendall Jenna went from sweet to sexy. Beyonce now literally shuts down the carpet. But back in 2008, she kept it simple. How many people are going to pet the hawk tonight? I think it's going to be the fashion accept. Welcome. It's not mine. I'm just temporary custody. That's all. And hard to believe the queen of the Met Gala herself, Sarah Jessica Parker, once wore a simple black dress back in 1995. And that dress was, I guarantee you, right out of my closet.